Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Craft Design Team, and today I'm very excited to share with you the project that I made for this week. And also I'd like to go over some of the flowers that I used. I do have a full start to finish on the mini album that I'm sharing with you, so I will play that at the end of this video. If you're interested in seeing that, then please stay tuned for that. This here is a 6x6 chipboard mini album, and on the front cover I have an acrylic scallop piece. I've used the gorgeous stationer's desk from Prima and this is just beautiful papers if you've not seen it I'll flip through it real quick I did also use a couple of pieces which I'll show you in here of Marion Smith's vintage telegram uh, I thought it coordinated very well so on the front here like I said is a um, scallop acrylic piece. I have a mini album that came with five or six pieces of these. Sorry about the glare. And what I chose to do instead of making one album out of it is I chose to just use one piece for the cover of this album. I cut some light to medium weight chipboard in black. That way if, if you saw the edges it looks finished. On the front here I have the beautiful Wild Orchid Craft flowers. I have some chrysanthemums and leaves. I put some clock hands back here. I also have some hip rosebuds and some um, pink centered roses. I'll show you all those uh, in detail. I will also have the product codes to all of these flowers in the description box along with links to Wild Orchid Crafts. On the front I have some vinyl which says every love story is beautiful but I love ours best. I got that from the online silhouette store. I'll have the design number in the description box. I have a zipper that says live. I have some more of the beautiful Wild Orchid Craft flowers here in the tulips. And on the back it's very easy to hide. I just added some more clusters over where you saw the glue in it. So as you can see there's no glue showing through and it ends up looking really really pretty this way. So I did a 6x6 six six photo of myself and my husband, and I'll just flip through the album real quick here. These are from the um, paper collection I cut out. I added some flatback pearls. I added some of these beautiful wild roses. On this side here I used some burlap trim that I got from Hobby Lobby, some flatback pearls. I used the gorgeous tulips and added some of the burlap twine over it or not burlap, excuse me, just the uh, baker's twine. And I left this open so a photo can be placed in here. And I have two of the little journaling cards here, again from the collection that I just cut out. A little paper clip to put those in. And on the side here I have a pull-out tag, and this is from Marion Smith's collection beautiful paper. This is from the paper collection, the Prima, and that just slides in the side. I have a little bit of um, seam binding ribbon and Wild Orchid Crafts has the most beautiful seam binding. I've used it in the past and I will be placing another order for it because I currently don't have any. They have very high quality seam binding so I'll link to that as well. This page here I just kept I couldn't cover it up. I kept trying to and I just couldn't do it. It's so pretty. This I just made a smaller um, chipboard page. This one is 3x6 and this is a Marion Smith flower that I had cut out with my silhouette. On this side I made a little pocket again with some flatback pearls and I used the word blissful that I cut out from the silhouette and in it I made a tag with the, from the paper line, added some seam binding and two of the little um, cut aparts that come in this collection. Next page here I have some of this beautiful um, trim from Hobby Lobby with some pearls. This I actually glued down just to give this page a little more um, detail and then I use some more of those wild roses. Here's the tag that I cut out with my silhouette. Here is, I used a piece of the cut apart with some of the wild roses, hip rose buds, and then I placed a piece of the paper collection along with a journaling card and a little Tim Holtz memo clip. Here's another tag on the side using a Marion Smith paper. This is from the paper collection. I added a um, rhinestone buckle and pearls, 
a pearl in the center. And again, this one just slides in the side as well. On this side here, I have a half of a doily, a beautiful metal piece that my friend Patty sent to me. Thank you, Patty. I have some um, flat back pearls and some banners that I cut from the paper collection. And a photo can be slipped here as well. I have another tag. And this here, this word says cherished. I cut a piece of the cut apart into a banner. And on this last page, I have a belly band on the side here. I added the beautiful bird cage from Wild Orchid Crafts. And this bird cage stand, I actually have a Kaiser Craft die. So I cut that out to match it along with this hummingbird and some more of the flowers. I also put a couple of mats from the paper collection that can slide in here as well if I can quickly and here's the back of it as well so if I can just quickly share with you some of the flowers that I used this is I love these the burgundy wild roses these are the one inch which are 25 millimeter these are FM 00418 I've of course used some of the chrysanthemums from set A which is QVR 023 I also use some from set C, QVR031. All of these will be in the link in the description box. I use some of the white leaves, MKX450. Again, this is the, what it, it's called the frame with hummingbirds cut out, and it's GST064, and they, they come with several in here. They take ink and, and stain very well. I use some, some of the um, tulip flowers with leaf stems. These are MKX212. I used a few of the cherry blossoms, MKX050. The hip rosebuds, GST014. And last but not least, I used some of the wild rose 30 millimeter ones, QVR026. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's project. Please check out Wild Orchid Crafts and the links will be in the description box. And please stay tuned for the start to finish if you'd like. Thanks so much for watching.